Okay, here is my tutorial on how to make a basic banner for product banner for your home page or for a group posting. Here I have already the transparent first layer. To get that you're going to go into file, new, 400 width, 150 height. This is just the dynamics I used. Um, most don't like too big of banners on their home page, so it's small and sweet. Advanced option. You want to make sure it's transparency. Fill with transparency. And then, okay. You'll get this. I already have my side picture. I'm just using one that I already had. Obviously, you can't use this one one like this because the butt. But we'll just go like that. And okay, so just arrange your picture the way you want it. Let's smooth out her edges. Um, a quick way I've found out how to do that is go to your picture layer here, click on it, right click, alpha to selection, you'll see these ants that march around. You're going to right click, select, shrink, shrink by two, okay, then you're going to go invert, well select, invert and then you're going to go again right click filters blur Gaussian blur Gaussian blur is going to be your best friend remember this and bring it to about one or two no more even here in the preview, you can see how it softens the lines. And again, right click, select, none. And it'll get rid of your dots, the dancing dots. You can also go into here, which is your blur sharpen tool, using a basic round brush, small size. You can go and Soften anything else that you find. And see how I softened her her hair, makes it more natural looking. Soften some other edges. Now, let's do some highlights. If it's the face picture that you're using or whatever it is, think of it as a light is shining on her. How would you like that shadow and that shine to show? So you're going to right click new layers and automatically it will give you a new layer that matches your basic one. You want it transparent. Go to your paintbrush Let's use black, and then you're going to want to shadow, put shadows in. You see how I just put areas of shadow? I even put it in the hair to give it more dimension, make it more natural looking. Um, just basically wherever you think there would be a shadow. Mark it up. Now, right click right here on your layer filters blur Gaussian blur told you best friend and bring it up to about eight or nine you don't want it too much of a blur radius because it dilutes it for the actual image and then come up here to your mode the arrow, 
choose overlay and see how it just accentuates the shadow. Now do a new layer. Choose white. There's your brush again. And it's also a lot easier to work um, on larger scale. To do that, just go view, zoom. There you go. Okay, there I've added highlight where I think it would be. Again, right click, blur, Gaussian. Okay. Then overlay. Now, you can also go into Smudge Tool, the little hand, and play with it a little bit, smoothing it out so it's not so blunt. Your highlight. Hitting the shift key allows you to drag it to a straight line. Don't worry about rough edges right now because you can Gaussian blur it out. See how it looks really shiny? Just do do do. Drag it up a little bit. And again, filter, blur, Gaussian blur would recommend not doing it as high, maybe just a 3, just to soften that up. See how it gives that a highlight look, you get your shadows, fiddle with it, play with it, make it your own. Now it'll help a lot for later working suit, so you have to move this layer around. Go ahead and click on that layer, uh, shadow layer, and merge down. Do the same with your highlight layer. And only do this after you're all done. That way, it's all one piece, one layer. So now you should only have your background and background layer and your actual avatar layer. Let's work on the background. Me, personally, I like basic. I'm very basic oriented. It all depends on you. But one quick great way to do it is the blend tool, graduate. Go in here and look in through all the graduates, some great ones. Triangular wave. Nice and soft. But there are many. They actually just come with some great colors. You can add a texture to that, new layer. And say you want to, like I have it up. And then I went into Bucket Fill, and I found some dots, added some texture to it. Alright, very simple. Play with it, play with your, your patterns, play with your background, get it to the way you like it. And then you want to add another layer. New layer. And put that above everything and you're going to do your text. And I'm going to do... Just 
do I'm gonna do a simple text. Choose center. It helps a lot. And just line it up. You can always fix the centering later. Again, play with it. Um, on another tutorial, if you want to ask for it, there's ways to fiddle with the the shading of this. You could add layers. Use one to like watch duplicate later. We can filter blur, Bastion blur, and then you can even and then you can do like a shadow effect. There's a lot of different ways you can do your 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 lettering. And there are tutorials on um, YouTube that talks about lettering and very simple procedures, very easy to follow. Arch down, and then we're gonna want a border. Quickest way to do a border: you layer. Notice. Layers. Layers are your friends. Layer everything. If you mess up, you can clear it. You can clear it out. You're not going to be ruining your whole product. So, layer everything. Here I'm choosing the rectangle select tool. And I'm just going to go like that. So that we have the dancing dots all the way around. Then we're going to go again right collect right click select shrink depending on your border I'm you're not gonna want it too big but a three let's go three for this play with it make it your own right click again to select invert I'll use a black. Now, keep the dancing dots. Make sure you don't do anything to lose that. Because it helps a lot. New layer. Let's go higher on this. Now see, here's your, your border. There's a couple of ways you can do the shine. One trick I've learned is you can go into the blend tool, it's that little box. You can go here in the flare, raise, radial. This is really cool. I really liked this. And then just do triangular wave and voila. And it doesn't, an automatic shine. Very simple. I just learned taught myself that, you know, a couple days ago. Quick and easy, very simple, or, let's clear that. We can go the long way. And my time is running out on this one, so I will show you how to add shine to your border on my next video. Alright, part two in a second.